in between halves with Herman Veal, who played an ultra tough power forward for Maryland. Lefty really stuck with you. What was your relationship with the coach, and how did he recruit you to Maryland? Well, uh, coach really didn't recruit me. It's uh, one of his assistant coaches saw me in Florida playing against, at the time, uh, Tim Andre, who was considered, the, I guess, the number one center in the uh, country. And uh, had one of my better nights, 32 and about 20 rebounds. And a better Marco, Coach Better Marco, who uh, was the assistant coach at that time, brought me in uh, to, for a visit. After I visited, I loved it. They came down the following week. I came up for a visit, and that was it. That was the story. I signed with Merrill. Uh, uh, what was your relationship with Lefty, and what, what are your best moments from being here as a Turk? Well, one of my best moments, I would say, is winning the ACC championship because we had strived to do that. You know, we had come close during my uh, entire career and then my senior year. You know, we had a number of unfortunate incidents happen in the games, during games that we were playing that uh, we weren't so pleased with and we weren't able to uh, achieve uh, a success. But then in the 84 season, Lefty decided to go to a zone uh, during the uh, latter part of that game, and it worked out great for us. Uh, so we took down Duke, and doing, you know, Lefty was also he was always on me to continue to play the type of defense that I was, was known for. And uh, you know, I took the challenge, and he always let me know that uh, you know there was uh, that I could possibly stop anybody. And, you know, that with that, I was satisfied. With that. You made one of the great passes in Cole Fieldhouse, I believe, to you beat Virginia. I think you're in Ralph's senior season? Yeah, Dutch Morley made the pass. Uh, and uh, I caught the pass at the uh, free throw line, turned around and hit every part of the basket. Yeah. And it went in. You know, doesn't matter how it goes in, it went in. And then, you know, uh, after that, we went on to overtime yeah, and that. sealed the deal with a jump shot in the line. Yeah. Uh, you guys did beat a lot of number. You played a lot of number one teams, and you beat them. Uh, what was the magic to do? You know, the magic was hard work. And let me tell you all something about uh, Charles Lefty Drusell. You know, a lot of people oftentimes question his bench acumen. But as far as going into a game and preparing you for the way that a team played, we uh, were one of the better prepared teams in the country. He always showed us how, what, how, and what we could do to defeat a team, and that's what we did. That's what we did. You know, it, whether it was going to a triangle and two, a box and one, or a slowdown game, he found a way to uh, beat teams, and that's what we went on to do. Beat teams. Yeah. I love the double high post delay. Uh, yes. That was yes. that game really, really showed a good coach. A team that might have more talent and more yes. All Americans. Yes, yes. Uh, you had number 42? Yes. Anything behind that number? No, I wanted number 52, but we're well aware of who had number 52. Oh Buck, Charles Linwood, Buck Williams. Yeah. And so I didn't think there was any way that I was going you know, to uh, get that number, so I just decided to go down 10 numbers to 42. And, uh, it worked, worked out, out great for me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thanks for being on